Hey, this is Johnny. I'm checking out this microphone that was just sent to me from Urton Microphones. So this is basically an unboxing video because a lot of people ask me, well, what comes in the package? So we're just about to find out. It's from Germany. It's from a company called Urton Microphones. Now, some of you might be asking, Urton Microphones, I've never heard of it. So it's spelled U-R-T-O-N Microphones, but it was formerly known as Horsch Microphones and that's something that I guess they changed their name and now they're called Urton Microphones. So let's check it out. I'm always scared when I put scissors in my hand. I'm gonna cut my hand on one of these videos. But, see, geez, I gotta be a professional box opener, I think. And I didn't pre-open it for you guys, so you're actually gonna see what I see and you know, not one of these things where I opened it already so I already know what's in there. Um, but they do package it pretty well. I mean, it is traveling a long ways. And you got your basic FedEx packing information right here. I guess I could have just opened it like that. I'm telling you, I may not be the smartest guy. So I've got a little bit in here that's just saying it's from, coming from Analog Audio in Germany. And just some of the packing list stuff. So pretty much just basic packing information. Oh, falling off on me. So here we go. Keep the hands away from the scissors. Okay, we got basic packing peanuts, a little bit of foam. Put that on the side, and here we go. So just in case you're visual like me, you'll see in a second it says Erton. U-R-T-O-N, right on the case. Now, I'm a big case guy, so my first thing that I always see is the case because that's what it's packaged in, and they pack it in a Pelican case, which I'm a big fan of Pelican cases. I'm not sure if you guys know this, but anytime I get a microphone that doesn't have a case that is... Um, you know, happen and I put it into a Pelican case. So I'm guessing this is about a 1550 Pelican case, even though it usually says right there. They put their brand on there and it's a metal, um, yeah, it's actually aluminum, which is pretty nice. So they didn't just put a sticker on there. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna open it up this way so you guys can see it. Very cool. It's packed actually pretty nicely and the information on Ert and microphones is right there, right on the Pelican case. So we'll open it up and I'll read it a little bit later. But um, actually, I'll read it for you right now. It says the Ertin M2 is a large diaphragm tube microphone with a special balanced capsule. Ah! Ertin M2, my dog is barking. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Jeez, do you want to be part of the video? Well, you get to now. <laughs> so continuing on, um, the Ertin M2 has two different operation modes. In the first mode, the M2 is a microphone with seamlessly adjustable polar patterns. The microphone screen is now shiny blue. The second operation mode is a wide cardioid pattern. It is giving a great sensitivity to the proximity effect. The microphone screen is now shining red. So basically what it's saying is it's got two modes and it tells you the modes depending on the color of the screen. Um, I'm guessing a blue LED lights up and a red LED. So we'll find out more about that when we actually do a video that is showing the microphone. This is just an unpacking video. So already I'm pretty excited. The cable is over here. Uh, you've got a little wood ingrained uh, logo right there. This guy, what is this? Wow, this is something I haven't seen. They actually give you a, whoa, a 16 gig little USB drive. So that's nice, you know, you can ca you know, carry it along with you, you know, go to a studio, make music, and you've got something to put it on, and it's always in your mic case. That was really, really well thought of. Um, I've never seen anything like that. I like that. I'm sure I'm going to use it. Um, I'm pulling the mic cable out right now. So, let's see. Are you going to be good? I'm going to put you over here, Rupert. Okay, sit down, bud. Sit down. There's no cats. There's no dogs. So on this cable, it doesn't really have a shock mount that it comes with, but it comes with a swivel mount. So I've seen these before in the old U67s, the old uh, U87s. They're a fairly expensive K 
table, um, and it's heavy duty. Uh, it looks like it's built pretty well, and it's got the European connector uh, as well as an American one when I uh, take this off. So I'm kind of excited to use this. It's a Megami cable. That's what they're using for the tube cable itself. So that's pretty nice. And a binder on the other end that goes into the power supply. So that's the cable. Let me put that aside. And let me look at the power supply. So the power supply is nicely put in here. And wow, this thing is heavy duty. And when I'm saying that, it is heavy, but um, it feels very rugged. It doesn't feel cheap at all. And the metal is actually pretty thick here. It's not thin. So this is something that after years and years of use, it's not going to you know, bend and break. It has the old German um, light on it, which is funny. The early power supplies had this sort of light opposed to the newer power supplies that Neumann put out um, for the U67 and so forth had a different light. So they kind of went back to this old one. So this is kind of nice. I haven't seen that done. Uh, very similar to the power supplies on the U47, if you notice the designing. And on this side where you actually plug in the microphone and you have the XLR cable going out, you've got their logo which is pretty cool, um, you know, the cable connector and the polar patterns. Now this isn't a sweeping polar pattern in the sense that, you know, it moves smoothly, it kind of locks in a little bit. So that is actually another thing that's kind of nice is once you get it on there, it stays on there. You know, obviously you can make a pencil mark if you like that polar pattern. Okay, so let's get to, whoa, one last thing. I've got, ooh, this is kind of nice. This is a little cleaning cloth you know, to take care of your microphone and clean it with. And it says on it, keep your mic glossy. You know, we don't have to focus up in on that because it's a little hard to read probably on video, but it says keep your mic glossy. It's pretty funny. It's kind of cool. Um, now, so let's put this guy in here in this Pelican case. It's a little tricky because this foam is kind of popping off here. So I'll probably drop this in like this and then I'll shove these guys in there. So. That's always tricky to shove all the equipment in a case without the, you know, without the foam breaking and all that stuff. It's always a trick thing that these mic companies are having to deal with and putting all their stuff in there. Okay, so the microphone itself, here it comes out. This is a nice wood box that it comes in, um, which is really interesting because there's no... This is cool. There's no little latches on it. So I'm kind of, which way do I open it? Can't go that way. Whoa, it's pretty, I don't want to, this is really interesting. This is a little trick. Maybe there's a button. There we go. So it's magnetically done, which is thought of uh, when they built this. This is kind of cool. No latches to scratch or break or um, get in the way. So here we go. We're opening it up for the first time. There you go, the Erton M2 microphone. So I'm just looking at this picture of the stuff and I'm looking at the microphone and I'm pulling it out right now. Um, I really like this whole latch system, it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna put that down now and I'm gonna hold up the mic so you guys can see it. Wow, very well constructed. I'm pretty excited to actually listen to this. I'm going to look down at the cable now, or where the cable connector is. And this is serial number 811. They just stamp it in there. It's 811. And it's kind of, as you can see a little bit in this video, it's kind of recessed a little bit from the actual mic body. So that's kind of interesting. Some things I've never seen before, or rather, um, you know, I may have right now, I'm thinking that I haven't, is there's this little diamond-like jewel up here that is probably what they're referring to possibly as changing colors. I don't know yet, but it looks like a little diamond, which is kind of neat. Um, the logo is, you know, very similar to the Neumann one. It's the triangle, but as far as the inside logo, it's their own, you know, Erton. Um, but it fits on there pretty well. It's the paint is this black kind of... Um, nice feel to it so I'm not going to get any fingers on it um, doesn't look like you know it's going to require much maintenance as far as cleaning even though they gave me that nice cool thing well 
this one is pretty interesting, okay? What I'm talking about is the head grill right now. The head grill right out of the gate is a very thick grill. Probably one of the thickest grills that I've ever seen in a microphone. Um, so I can't wait to listen to this. Well, without further ado, I'm going to go plug this in, try this out. This is just merely an unboxing video. I kind of got a little bit more into it because I was you know, blown away by some of the features that I hadn't seen in a microphone before. But check out the next video from Modern Mics, and this is the Urton M2 microphone.